what to do after the embassy has denied you a visa number one is probably to thank them and tell them that you'll have a stronger application next time do not be very emotional but what i always tell people is to prepare before you go in and get that visa the first time but in the event you don't get that visa please pay attention to the questions they asked you because your answers are more likely to be recorded and so that means when you go the next time those are the answers they are looking for so if you go back and they ask you what changed you have to have some examples from the previous interview maybe it was finances maybe it was the choice of school so you want to go back what has changed it looks like the last time i came here you know you told me to look for a cheaper school and i went back and i came back with a cheaper school okay so know the content of your discussion when you go outside after the appointment i want you to write down everything they asked or everything they told you okay so that way you know that you know when you are going back more than likely the answers will lie in what they asked you okay but for most of you remember you cannot appeal these processes what the embassy says is final okay you cannot appeal now let's say you come to america and then they are denying you entry at the port of entry first of all don't come with suspicious activity what are suspicious activity you're coming on a visiting visa and you come with all these documents for school for what I advise you to leave them at home. And by the way, this is not legal advice, but I'm just telling you to leave those documents at home. Communications that are questionable. You don't want them. Me, I would erase my history. I erase everything on my phone. I erase pictures to create space and storage anyways. Why are you coming with information that could, could incriminate you or cause you to go back? So you want to be careful. What is in, in that phone? Okay, what kind of people have you been communicating with? Especially you're coming on a visiting visa. They might be suspecting that when you come, you might not go back. Okay, don't show that you're coming to perform if you did not get a visa for performing. They'll consider that working. So at the port of entry, if they deny you entry, the best person to go to again is the embassy back home. Okay, your point of origin, go there, ask. More than likely, they will tell you what the next steps are. Okay, but so let me tell you something I, I watched from the lawyers. Very, very important. Okay, the lawyers were discussing this. I saw them. And they say there's a case that has won, which means going forward in the future, there's someone who filed a, a case and that uh, the judge ruled that he actually going forward, if you are an American citizen and you file for someone, your spouse who is in a foreign country and they deny them a visa, okay, the embassy is supposed to respond why they denied and also, also it ha the reply has to be in a timely way. So that means going forward, you can always contact a lawyer and then do an appeal. Okay, but for the most part, I want you to understand the law at the embassy. Anyone going to the United States on a temporary visa, they assume that your intent is to come to America and never go back. So which question they're asking, whatever question they're asking, focus on that law.